For all my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And they have brand new methods to transfer your coins over to your account in record time. Use the discount code NEPO at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthos here and welcome back to another episode of Foot Founder. It has been a week or so since the last episode, but this is the team that we have got for the next game. Um, I was thinking whilst I was recording this episode that I wasn't overly happy with the team that I had. I don't know why, I just wasn't really feeling it. So um, I thought, let me give it one go with this uh, with this team, one game with this team and see, see where it lies and then potentially change formation. Now before we get into this episode, if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. And uh, if you guys want to interact with me on Twitter or Instagram, links will be in the description below. So this will be the last non-live episode of Foot Founder. From now on going forwards, I'm going to be doing it live. So we'll be playing the games live. You'll see my face cam. You'll see the true reactions and such. But I just wanted to get a feel again for Xbox gameplay, to be honest. I haven't played a game on Xbox in months other than for Foot Founder. And I haven't done any, any gameplay on Foot Founder for about six weeks. So believe it or not, it's actually quite difficult to get used to uh, the Xbox controller after not using it for six weeks. Like it's crazy, but that it's it's absolutely true. So I wanted to play a few games just to kind of get my feeling with it before I went live again. And we came up against this guy in the first game. He had a really, really nice team compared to our team. He went 1-0 up. I got a penalty myself. For some reason, I had Claudio Bravo taking all my set pieces. And I thought, you know what, fucking YOLO. Let's just give him the penalty. He scored the goal. We got back in the game. And if you think that was bad, there was also, I think we scored from a corner from Claudio Bravo taking the corner as well. I really should have changed my set piece taker. Just laziness on my part, if uh, anything else. So if you guys don't know what Foot Founder is, it's basically me building a team and, and playing the game without buying FIFA points or coins so this is all legit everything I've got here is done through trading through pack methods through playing games and, and winning tournaments and stuff and the idea was to see what we what sort of team we could get by the end of FIFA however with that being said I just don't have time these days to play this game as much as I wanted to and, and I mean this specific game this series uh, and that's because I stream a lot more now so if you guys don't know I stream for like four or five hours every day uh, twitch TV slash Nepenthes and um, that's basically killed off any me having free time to play this game for this series. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the series is aim to win Division 1. And once we won Division 1, that will indicate the end of the series. Just to show that you guys can win Division 1. You can build yourself a really nice team, a Division 1 winning team, a great team. Without having to use FIFA points or coins. So we end up getting ourselves a nice big 4-2 win there. The reason why I was shushing the guy and, and celebrating like a moron is because after he scored his first goal... He was one of those guys passing around the back and, I don't know, just, you know when you could just tell someone's being a bit of a, a, a idiot player, that's exactly why. So I went back into the trade pile after this, I did, I listed my Griezmann, I bought myself Bellarabi, I changed back up to the 4-3-3, and the reason why I did that is because on my stream to glory, which is essentially foot founder, it's stream to glory where we use uh, the same the same rules apply, no FIFA points, no coins, just playing and trading is the only ways to get our coins. Um, the reason why I went to the 4-3-3 and used Bellarabi is because I bought him in my streams of glory and I thought, you know what, he's actually very, very good. So I wanted to put, put him on this account as well. We are in Division 2. Our current record in Division 2 is one win and one loss. Now, you need seven wins in Division 2 to get to the, uh, the to win the division with the, the maximum coin bonus. So that is what we are looking for. End up buying Bastion Schweinsteiger and uh, Boateng as well. We're building into the Bundesliga right-hand side. Which isn't unusual for me. Usually I have Robin on the right wing. But Bellarabi, for as cheap as he is, is actually a very, very good option. I did go for the 85 version of Boateng. Not really too much of an issue. The difference between the 85 and the 86 is absolute minimal. And I, I didn't really want to pay the extra few thousand coins for the 86 at this stage. Because I, I'm, I'm running low on coins and I wanted to kind of... Uh, I just want to like bulk up the coin the coin balance again, basically. So we bought ourselves peace check to go right back. This is the team we ended up with. Schweinsteiger, Modric and uh, Rodriguez in midfield. Bale, Neymar and Bellarabi up front. And then we had a, a box and a defence. Boateng, Ramos, Bravo, uh, peace check and Alba in defence. We came up against this team in the next game. Now I know you're thinking Claudio Bravo is not on full chemistry. You would be correct. We are looking to buy Manuel Neuer as soon as that... Um, as soon as that informed Griezmann sells, now I bought informed Griezmann for like 55,000 I think and sold him for 60,000 when he did eventually sell. So I made a few coins profit on him, like a thousand, maybe two thousand or so coins, not, not crazy amounts but enough to, uh, to, to warrant selling him I guess. But into the next game we came up against pre pretty standard team for a, for a Division 2 team and, and I always worry about these sort of players when I come up against them because players that are in Division 2 with these sorts of teams are there on merit. They're there because they're good at the game and that they've earned their place in the division. Sometimes players who have incredible teams are there because they've got incredible teams and incredible players that do incredible things. 
not necessarily because they're there on merit. That's not to discourage people, and I'm not saying everyone with a good team is terrible at this game, but I'm just saying if you've got a bad team or an average team like this guy had and you're this far up, then yeah, you're probably going to be a good player. However, my man here at 2-1 down ended up uh, quitting the game. It was quite an even game, you know, I wasn't all over him, but he decided he had had enough with 15 minutes to go, didn't want to try and get back into it, didn't want to try and get a point, so we get ourselves a nice easy three points in the bag, in the division, which is happy. I thought I'd try the old bronze pack method, and the reason why I did this is because I, I, I kind of want, almost to show you guys that the bronze pack method still works after the video that I made, and, and the bronze pack method also works regardless of the fact that I'm me. Like, during stream, people assume that my bronze pack method works because my viewers buy the cards. Well, I want to show you guys in the next episode, once all that stuff sells, that it's not because viewers are buying my cards, it's because these cards actually sell through the bronze pack. So we do manage to buy ourselves Noya after uh, picking up um, after selling um, Griezmann and we come up against this team in the final game now it's a very well put together team a very interesting team um, I wasn't too worried about about it because it's 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 just one of those teams it's just one of those teams where I'm like yeah like he's got some nice players he's got a lot of the cheap OP players but I've got a really nice team and I was I was feeling good you know I'd won two games in a row I was, I was feeling positive I was feeling confident I just improved my team no end the the biggest problem I did have and the mistake that I made here is that 4-3-3 in my opinion isn't really good for me in the high divisions it's my favorite formation in this game because it's the most creative attacking formation but it's not the best defensive formation. The 4-1-2-1-2 is so much stronger defensively. Um, so I'm thinking after this uh, after this episode here, I'm probably going to switch back to the 4-1-2-1-2. This guy ended up putting away absolutely everything. Every chance he had, every time he got into my box, he put the put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, De Jong for him had a great game. I think he scored a hat trick, maybe even all four goals in the end. And, and I don't know. It, it was just one of those games. You're going to have those games. I, I wasn't really bothered too much. Um, like I said, I actually had a really good game. I played really well. I felt like I was the, the stronger player in the game. I just couldn't take my chances. And you'll see that here during the uh, the match that's there. I had a better possession, same passing, um, but he just took his chances. And and that's what FIFA comes down to So uh, at the end of the day, how, how, uh, how well you could put the ball into the back of the net. And unfortunately for me, it wasn't good enough. So this is what the division looks like at the end of the three games, guys. We've got six games remaining. We won two, lost two. Not the best, not what I was looking for, really. But we just need ourselves uh, another five wins to get promoted, another six wins to win the title. Uh, sorry, four wins to get promoted, five wins to win the title shouldn't be a problem. This is going to be the end of the video though, guys. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.